Hello, my name's Chris Platts and I am training for an Ironman. I'm vlogging as I go and sharing my experiences with anybody who is trying to train for a triathlon while balancing a busy work and family life. Welcome to episode five. All the planning, all the preparation, and I've forgotten some shorts. <laughs> so, walked up the hill to the swimming pool, and I can't go in because I've not got my shorts. So, do more work today, and then I'll try and fit my swimming at lunchtime on Monday. And video will be a bit like. Hello everybody, it's Sunday night, um, so just thought I'd, similar to last week, just finish with a bit of a reflection. Um, I was going to not do a video this week because things haven't gone particularly to plan, but, at, and if you watch the video you'll find out why, but actually I thought, you know what, that's what this is supposed to be about. So it's been a bit of a hectic week at work. Um, I... Um, I'm not ruining the surprise, but didn't manage to get a swim in. So I'm going to bump that till tomorrow. Other things have happened this week. I've signed up for a gym membership, which I wasn't going to do, but I found one for £50 that's going to cover me for three months and include swimming. Um, so that is, I think, value for money. So I've just taken that for the next three months. And um, been a heavy cycling week, really with one run in there, in the heavy rain, which you'll see in this video. I'm just gonna finish off tonight watching the Formula One while doing some turbo training stuff. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so um, I've done my first swim, which was using the membership that I've paid for. It's 8.15 to 9 o'clock at night, so that works out quite well in terms of um, children's bath and bedtime. Um, got a few jobs done. Still got then a few jobs to do now, but that might work out as quite a good thing. It's about 10 minute drive at that time at night because there's not much traffic there. Uh, and I got well, I got half an hour in the pool, but I'd set up my memberships first time I've used it. So actually that could turn out to be quite a good thing. Um, the better pool's in the centre of town. So I'm going to have to look into whether I can cycle into there potentially because otherwise that's on the tram bus adding costs. Um, so not sure about that in parkings, a bit of a no-go. So yeah, but that's a bit of a positive start. Happy with that. Okay, so I've just finished um, some marking, 12.29, I'm going to see today if I can fit in a swimming session in the lunch hour, it says 12 minutes to the venue, I'm going to try and cut that bit down, I can then work at the venue afterwards, um, so that's going to cut down time, so we'll see how we go, I remember my shorts today. <laughs> Managed to hot foot it, 12.42 and I'm here, so I'll get ready again. Okay, it's 
session complete. It took me about, I got about 35 minutes in. It's now 1.37, not quite fitted in within the hour. Had a bit of trouble with my membership when I arrived, but that's tight to fit in. I'm steaming up here. Tight to fit in an hour. I think it'll have to be sessions where you're working hard on short sets rather than trying to get a long swim in. In a lunch break, I think it's a bit too difficult, but I'm logged back on. Seven minutes over, it's not too bad. Certainly an option, I could probably work closer to the swimming pool as well, actually. Um, so maybe for some of the training, I think it could be fitted in in the lunch hour. Uh, you should be quick, gotta be prepared. Um, and yeah, I've not managed like any food or anything like that. It's just, just been straight back on to log back on. So it is a bit tight, but doable. Still.